Helping others in vulnerable positions or moments in their lives is a vital core part of the human spirit. This urge to help can often take people away from the familiar comforts of their community and into the vastness of the world. I have always been fascinated with what's happening outside my own country. I grew up in Sweden and I, my parents never traveled anywhere. I didn't even know there was a world outside. When I moved to Britain a little bit later, I found out it was a hurting world outside. And as I started to travel, I've been traveling in 85 countries, I've worked in 85 countries. You saw the need that is just enormous. In order to serve people's whole being, you need to start with basic physical needs. They have to get to stability. And then once you have basic physical needs met, shelter, food, clothing, then you can reach the individual person with uh, emotional support, spiritual support, enabling them to do more with their lives. We, uh, as we think that holistic approach is helping people in need in, in a holistic way, like in emotional, physical, spiritual, as well as their need, whatever they are going through. So we are helping these people who are going through physical need because they are below poverty in Nepal. As you know that Nepal is economically down and then people are struggling and living in a dire situation. We support for their betterment. Fulfilling material needs of people is important, but it's not just the physical that needs attention. Spiritual and emotional wellness are just as necessary and often go hand in hand. An entrepreneurial spirit is so critical, especially in the times that we're living in that are ever-changing, dynamic. You have to be flexible and agile in the type of world that we live in. Before COVID, we had a lot of skill training programs that were running for three months, six months with groups of 25, 45 women at a time. But when COVID hit, we realized we couldn't have that large of a group for that long of a time. But by nature of the circumstances that we were in, we had an entrepreneurial approach in doing something that was more sustainable than just the food relief that we were providing within the first couple of months of, of COVID. The idea of serving and helping others is not new, but it is needed right now more than ever. Serve Now is a Christian organization that specializes in providing aid to those in need and keeping a strong message of spiritual growth and serving the people. Working very closely with our national leaders is very key to the approach to Serve Now. We believe they know best what the needs really are in their community that will make the biggest difference in transforming and improving people's lives. So <laughs> all kinds of services from mosquito nets to clean water to winter blankets to skill training, micro enterprise type projects to tutoring activities for vulnerable children, summer camps, uh, bicycles for pastors, teaching, training for leaders and pastors who don't have access uh, to education like we might have. ServeNow's mission is to continue responding to crises quickly and transforming people's lives. Together with resources, inspiration, and a strong community, we can all serve together right now. We're building infrastructure. Another thing we're doing is we're expanding our program base and expanding our partners around the world. So as we are able to engage new partners and as we work with our current partners, to fulfill their dreams for what they want to do in their communities. It's a constant uh, work of what, what do we have to do? How do we have to do it? What does it take to do it? What are the resources required locally, in the US, financially? All of that in place enables the growth that we want to go through and that we've seen over the last couple of years and as we you know, plan on going forward. There are millions of people who are waiting to be helped. So we are praying for the extension or for the elaborate of our uh, boundary of our ministry because there are many, we get many requests from the community-based people, from the local government because they are dying. And then, uh, yes, we know that serve now, procrastinate later. So we really want to cover the nation with the love of God and bringing hope to those people who are dying. Don't wait, serve and help those in need now.